guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you what I'm wearing for my birthday. Yes, today's my birthday. I turned 19 and I'm going out so I thought I'd show you what I did for my makeup and yeah, I mean it's a bit dramatic. Um, I haven't done something like pinky dramatic with this wing liner and stuff like that. Aside from the one I just uploaded, my last autumnal makeup, the glitter with the brown lip. I haven't done quite like a bold one in a long time and I really felt like doing it for my birthday and why not. So yeah, um, I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my festive Christmassy videos. I will be uploading much, much more, many, many more. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love you guys. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to start priming my face with my usual primers. They're the Makeup Forever ones and this is the hydrating one. I'm just putting it all over my face. And then the smoothing one I'm going to put on my T-zone and on my cheeks where I have larger pores. And then I'm going to move on directly to foundation. And I'm using the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. It is full coverage and it has no SPF. So if I'm going out and I take pictures with flash, it won't get any flashbacks, so I really really like this and it's just really nice to blend. I love it. I really recommend this foundation to you guys. But yeah, I'm blending everything in with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I use this brush to blend the foundation in. It is wonderful for this. I really like it. Next, I'm going to move on to concealer and as per usual, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and I'm just going to conceal those dead under eyes and also my nose and just put it everywhere where I need it basically so I'm completely flawless because I'm really looking for flawless base today. So yeah, just blending everything out with my uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and then I'm going to highlight my face with this really fair concealer. This is the Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to highlight the under eyes and nose, the bridge of the nose, and my forehead a little bit on the lip and on the chin. And I'm blending everything out again with my sponge. This really like makes my face look really highlighted and I'm pale so it's not that much different. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to set it with the Rimmel Match loose finishing powder that that powder i i love this powder it's one of my favorite powders ever it makes my under eyes look so smooth and everything stays when i bake with this i'm making my nose so it stays put and it looks flawless and next i'm bronzing my face with my butter bronzer it's a really nice bronzer i really recommend it to the fairer people out there so yeah and i said uh Whatever, I just contoured my nose with the same bronzer. I just wanted to do two in one and I just went over it with my sponge because I don't like a nose contour to be that stark, so yeah. And then I put the same blush I always use, which is the NYX Bitten Blush. I put a little bit of my rose water with glycerin mix on my face so it makes my highlight pop. And I'm using the Becca Opal um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. That's what I'm using. With the Real Techniques Setting Brush. And I'm just going to highlight to the gods. I am going to highlight all over the place so it looks like glowy where I want it to be and you know just glowy. I went over with my sponge the same side where I put my powder on my face and I just put it all over the places where I don't want that much highlight and then I move straight on to brows and for that I use the Anastasia brow uh, definer. I was about to say brow is no it's the brow definer in the shade Ebony or Ebony. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that guys so if you could help me out there that'd be Thankful? Yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm just going to clean up with the Anastasia Concealer. And because it can get a little bit messy. I mean, it, this is not my favorite way of doing my brows, but I really like the product. So maybe I'll just switch to the brow wiz. I like that way, like the shape of the brow thing better. So yeah. And to make my brows really bold and like completely clean and sharp and just nice like Instagram-y kind of. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I am using the NYX um, brow gel I think and it's in the shade Espresso. And then I just set my brows with my ABH clear brow gel. It's my fave. Moving on to eyes, I'm using the Chi Chi Mats palette in that pink warm shade and I put it in my crease but I lost that footage because I didn't realize it wasn't filming and then I basically it's the same color in the BH Cosmetics 3rd edition palette and I just put a little bit more there because yeah I realized it wasn't recording and I'm like okay I'll just switch to this palette anyways I am moving on to the pinkier side since this is a really pinky mauve look I really want to go little by little putting pink so I don't get like a red eye but I still want to darken it out and I'm focusing all the dark colors sorry that was my phone 
I'm focusing all, all the dark colors on the outer V of my eye and just dragging them in all the way in so it's like really nice and pink. And then I used that kind of like a orangey reddish shade to darken the outer V because I am doing wing lighter as you saw in the beginning and I just really want it to get really dark and red and mauve and just gorgeous. I really liked how this turned out so I really recommend using lots of shades and going little by little darker. This is from the second stack. This is a burgundy shade and I'm just putting it with a tiny tiny brush and I'm going to put it on the outer corner and blend it with my Smashbox brush. Now I keep on going back and forth between back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with those two shades until I get like this outcome. And then with the same Anastasia concealer I used to clean up my brows, I am just putting a little bit on my lid. I'm not doing a cut crease, I'm just cleaning it up and I want it because I want the lid to be bright and the like my crease and the outer crease with a little bit on my lid to be like quite colored so that's why I just put the concealer on and then with a Smashbox brush just dragged all the colors in and then I set that concealer with that really pale shade that it's kind of like a bone kind of color yeah from the first stack of the BH Cosmetics third edition palette this is my fave palette and then moving on to the liner, I'm using the NYX Li Matte Liquid Liner and I just did a really bold wing. I wanted bold wings. I don't ever want to really go, like I don't know if ever, but yeah. I just do my liner really bold and I don't want it to be too Amy Winehouse-y, but still bold. You, you feel me? And then I moved on to my lower lash line. And as you can see, I'm just smoking everything out with the same shades I used on my outer V of the crease and then just applied those lashes, put a little bit of liner in my waterline and then I'm applying this lipstick which is the Kaylin um, Ultra Matte Lipstick. I'm really not sure what the full name is called but it's a liquid lipstick and it's in the shade number 17 and I just love it. I thought it matched perfectly with my shirt. <laughs> I really liked how it, this turned out and I'm sorry I'm going out of focus here and well, not out of focus, but I, you couldn't really see what I was doing with my lips. But yeah, basically, this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye! Hi, guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, I know big change, right? I'm brunette now! I changed my hair color, and I thought it would look really good for Christmas and winter time. I'm really excited for all of it. And can I just say, it is the first of December. It is officially Christmas time. I can officially go Christmas crazy. And to start everything off, Everything here is Christmas! <laughs>